What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new action figure news for you guys. We do have some brand new wrestling action figure news for you today, and we are on the AEW Unrivaled or Jazzware side of things today, discussing some stuff that took place, I want to say it was a couple weeks back. I don't know the exact timeline of the situation and everything like that, but it de I definitely missed it. Like, I didn't ever get on here, talk about it in a video, discuss it with you guys, and I feel like it needs discussing. It's definitely worth discussing, and I want to get on here and discuss everything, and you know, with the WWE action figure news that we've had over the last few days i figured it was time to get on here and cover the other side of the aisle and talk about the aew or all elite wrestling action figure news and get into all that stuff man so with that being said let's go ahead and dive into it man today we're discussing some aew action figure news and i do believe again this came to us like maybe two and a half weeks ago or something like that so i i i need to i need to apologize for not getting this up sooner but nonetheless man let's go ahead and dive into the news and talk about it man so the news that we're talking about is actually coming out of new york toy fair now, this is just a really small setup that AEW by Jazzwares or AEW Jazzwares had. It was a small little display there at New York Toy Fair 2023. And I don't even think Mattel goes to New York Toy Fair. Like, I don't even think they were there. And if they were, there was no WWE action figures on display. There was no, you know, reveals or anything like that. They didn't have a setup or anything. But AEW and Jazzwares was there. So let's go ahead and discuss it, man. Of course, first of all, they did have this big display here, which was very cool. I always enjoy these displays. It's almost like a barrel or something something like that. It's like this big oval table or big circle table in the middle and they'll have all these figures set up on it and that just kind of gives you an idea of how damn big this little circle table is because I mean they have a ring on there. They have all these different figures on there, displays and stuff like that. So they did have some new figures on there. They had the hook ringside exclusive figure on display right there. They had that new Amazon four pack. I do believe that hook figure should be hitting ringside collectibles relatively soon. I mean I imagine that should be hitting in the month of October. Before the month is over we'll have that hook figure in our hands but we do have the ringside exclusive hook with the FTW championship looking pretty damn good you had some like San Diego comic-con exclusive stuff on there with sting you had unrivaled 13 on there and you did have like that big Amazon four pack I do believe also on there which should be hitting relatively soon I imagine but Dan Housen was also on there so it was pretty cool to see those figures on display I always enjoy the action figure setups that different companies have at these shows and stuff like that but Outside of that, we did have some brand new figures shown off to us now. Let's get into the first figure here, man. We have the Jazzwares Vault Exclusive Claudio Castelloni. We have the Jazzwares Vault Exclusive 1 of 5,000 Claudio right here. And it showcases a little bit of what we're expecting out of this entire thing, right? I mean, you have the packaging here. It's got the black and red, the Ring of Honor. Even has the Ring of Honor logos down there. You guys can see it has ROH. It's got his name down there at the bottom. And this figure looks okay. It does come with the two different head sculpts. It's kind of crazy because this figure is giving me heavy like Cesaro Elite 23 vibes, especially that head sculpt, which uh, you could argue is one of the better Cesaro head sculpts, you know, but, uh, you know, he's got the Jason Statham style vibes going on. He has some very interesting accessories. He's got his red gear in there. He also comes with a yellow Ring of Honor microphone, which I think is really cool, but I know the shadowing and stuff like that is also kind of inter interfering with the figure. You can't make up the entire thing there, but you, we have a good idea of what to expect out of this figure, but there is Claudio right there. You guys can get a real good idea of how he's going to come when he comes out right there. I do not know when these are going up for pre-order. I don't know when the Jazzwares vault stuff is going to be coming. You guys know that they have a lot of stuff coming to that vault, and I, I don't have an image of it, but at this New York Toy Fair, they also had a nice little, like, they had, like, a vault kind of set up in the background. I don't know if I can, I'll try to plug it in there, as you guys will see, and I think you could, like, enter into the vault to view the stuff at the show, and I couldn't exactly, I, I don't know the exact thing, but you guys can make out there is, like, a vault in the background of these images, which I thought was a pretty cool Easter egg type deal right there that I thought was nice, but this Claudia figure. I mean, I like the packaging. You have the little sleeve that goes over it. You got the sticker on there that says 1 of 5,000. Again, we don't know exactly when these figures are going to go up, but we do know that we have a Dan Housen coming. We have Kenny Omega. We have Brian Danielson. We have all these Ring of Honor figures that are coming soon, which I'm excited for. I'm excited to get these figures in hand and see and find out what the hell these guys are all about, but I am digging the Ring of Honor figures that are going to be coming soon, but we did have a look at Claudio's packaging and like the sleeve and the shipper and everything that's going to be coming with this figure, so I thought that was pretty damn nice. I like the Claudio figure, and I'm excited to see what we get once once we uh, finally see this figure, but I am looking forward to more of the figures in the set, not just the Claudio, but moving on next, guys, we also had the Jazzwares Vault exclusive, I think. I think this is a Jazzwares Vault exclusive. It is going to be the Death Triangle 3-pack, which was on display at New York Toy Fair again. As you guys can see, it comes with a ton of championships. You get Pac, you get Ray Phoenix, you get Pinta. It all looks very cool here. This packaging is crazy. I think you fold it up, and it makes like a big triangle, and it has like their three separate triangle deals. It says Death Triangle. It's got the images of the guys. You have 
have them with the championships in the packaging. This is some unbelievable work right here. I mean, these figures look great. You guys know that we did see these guys in the Unmatched Series 7, and now they are coming in this three-pack right here. Tons of Penta figures and Ray Phoenix and Pac, but at least they look really sweet, and you get the championships, and it's just a really nice pack. I, I think the packaging is what really separates these figures from just your standard regular figures, and hopefully these figures will be, you know, just as bomb as figures themselves, but these look really, really good. I I'm excited for these, and you got some good stuff going on here. Again, the championships look good. I don't know. I don't think we got it like a full package sample as far as like sealed, but uh, you guys can kind of see how they have their different windows. I don't think it's just the tri- I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a death triangle sleeve or something that goes over this. So it's going to be these three separate triangle pieces that fold together to make one triangle, and then there's a sleeve that goes over the top and it's sealed up, I think is how it's going to be. But it looks really, really good. I mean, it looks awesome. I think, you know, if you're a packaging whiz, I, I don't know how you could hate these figures, but I, I like the way we got all these death triangle figures right here. Pinto with the black and silver is looking clean. Really excited for the death triangle pack. And then we also got to see the Jazzwares Vault exclusive Malachi Black figure, but this is a Supreme Edition. Now, we have seen a few images of this. I don't think we had seen, like, you know, clearer images of the packaging. I, I think the last time we saw this, it was, like, more further back. You know, it wasn't as in your face, and you couldn't get as many details as you can out of these photos here. But you guys can see it's got the Jazzwares Vault exclusive. Now, this one is going to be similar to, I want to say, G.I. Joe has had a figure like this right in the Classified series, where it's, like, this bigger, like, kind of, I don't even know how you want to say it. It's almost like a coffee table book size looking thing and then you can uh, take the sleeve off and unflap it like with Velcro and you guys can reveal the figure. But this Malachi Black does look damn good. He's got his different masks in here. You have the antlers mask. You have his interchangeable stuff going on. All these different head sculpts going on with different face paints and things of that nature. Now we have seen Malachi Black before in the Supreme Collection. We saw him in Series 2 and that was a damn good Supreme figure but we are getting him yet again right here and it looks to me like he is going to, you know, I mean he's Malachi Black right so you got House of Black. It's going to be a lot of darkness and it's going to be black colors and dark imagery and all the different things going on with it, but a badass figure nonetheless. It feels like yesterday we were getting the Mattel WWE Elite Alistair Black, and I remember so many people losing their minds over that figure. He's just so toyetic, and you have so many different things going on with Alistair Black and Malachi Black, and I think that's really what sells his figures here, but you guys can see it is going to be a 1 of 5,000 Jazzwares Vault exclusive. Now, I think we are going to be entering into this era where how are these things going to go, and I'm, <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know if it's going to be a good thing, if it's going to be a great thing, if it's going to be bad, is it going to come with some different ups and downs because you guys know that the chase figures are, are crazy obtainable. A lot of people want the chase figures and these essentially are going to be chase figures but they're going to be sold online. Are you going to be limited to one per, per unit? How well are they going to sell? How well are they not going to sell? Are they going to be easy to obtain? Are we going to overpay for them? Or you know all those different things are definitely going to be up in the air there but the Malachi Black figure does look sweet nonetheless. I mean you got this great packaging going on with it. It's got the sleeve over it. You got him with his skull mask on there and I'm liking all this stuff. I just and I'm intrigued to know exactly how the process is going to go, what all figures are going to be coming out out of this. Uh, hopefully this thing, these things perform well because I want to continue to see these figures like this, but we will have to play that by ear, I guess. But the Malachi Black Supreme figure is looking really damn good here with the interchangeable stuff, and I hope that, uh, you know, everything works out for it here. But I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm all for more Supreme figures. I really enjoyed the first go-around, so this one should be no different. But he does have the entrance gear and different stuff like that, different masks and stuff. And if you get this figure and you take it out of the packaging, then you can take your other Supreme Malachi Black that we got in Series 2. Pair that one with those accessories and head sculpts, and you can make your own hybrid Malachi Black. So that's what's really awesome about these figures being interchangeable. And hopefully WWE and Mattel are going to jump on that bandwagon where you can interchange torsos and stuff. Kind of seeing it with the Build-A-Figure. I know we've seen that with Build-A-Figures in the past. They didn't really make any steps towards it to include in the main Elite line. But I think with the arrival of Jazzwares and AEW figures, I think that they can kind of see how much that can help the business model. So hopefully we'll see that blend over into WWE. WWE Mattel, and we'll have to see exactly how that goes, but you guys know as well as I do, interchanging AEW figures and being able to just pop those torsos off and stuff like that is just so nice, and it's really great, so hopefully that will make its way over, but nonetheless, that is literally all the AEW figures we saw, man. We saw Claudio, we saw the Death Triangle 3-pack, we saw the Supreme Malachi Black, and I think that is it. Again, I think that we're going to be getting, like, of course, Unrivaled 13's in stock. We have all these different things. Ringside exclusive hooks should be arriving soon. The Amazon 4-pack should be arriving soon, and I know the hook is probably more intriguing than that you know, that Amazon 4-pack, but nonetheless, I still think that is that is also coming, but lots of figure news coming. I know that we have more Ringside Collectibles figures arriving soon. We have, like, Elite 105 coming. 
We have the Royal Rumble Elite Wave, the new Basic LA Knight. I do want to do like a full-fledged review on that and kind of compare like different eras of Basic. So look out for that video coming soon this week. But I think that is going to wrap up the AEW action figure news that we had today, man. I'd love to know what your thoughts are all on these things down in the comment section below. Are you guys looking forward to the Jazzwares Vault? What do you expect out of the Jazzwares Vault? What do you like hope out of the Jazzwares Vault? And hopefully, you know, we don't run into crazy, awful things that, you know, add headaches to the collector's market. But you guys know as well as I do, you need to expect the unexpected when it comes to things like this because you never exactly know how the market's going to fare and all these different things, man. I say that on the channel a lot. I always say the WWE action figure market, especially the aftermarket, is really hard to dictate and kind of predict. And I think that goes for all the action figures, to be honest with you, man. I mean, we're dealing with little plastic men, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know what you think down in the comment section below. A huge shout-out to our patron supporters and a brand-new patron member is going to be Trap Rawlings. Huge shout-out to my man Trap over there for signing up to being a patron member of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much for signing up. Patron package, shipping out to you as we speak. But that is going to wrap it up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me your thoughts on all these things down below. I'm getting the hell out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you later.